Hi guys, it's Give Me a Break Man on the Give Me a Flake Man channel, standing across the street from the Hiroshima Museum that commemorates the dropping of the bomb. You can learn all about the bomb there, but I'm standing in a little monument across the street with an interesting little story. This uh, used to, area used to be called Zai Mokucho, I believe, and this is where they have put a little monument to remember 541 12 and 13 year old girls and seven teachers who died instantly on the, on, the, on the day the bomb dropped, when the bomb dropped. They were busy pulling down wooden houses because in those days, as you know, most of the buildings were made of wood and uh, this prevents fires, you know. So if, if, if a city is being bombed, if you take down the wooden houses, uh, the chance of fire spreading goes way down. As you can see here, these are the cranes, paper cranes. If you make, they say if you make a thousand paper cranes, you will heal any illness you have. So people are always giving cranes to Hiroshima City. Anyway, uh, they died instantly. They say if you dropped an atomic bomb these days, it wouldn't cause nearly as much damage, uh, at least to the city. But what's interesting about this is that this monument, which was moved here 12 years after the war, when the Allied forces were still here, has the words E equals MC square the, engraved on it. Now originally the uh, the families of the dead girls wanted to put the words the atomic bomb there but the Allied forces said no you can't use that so instead they they use the word the uh, the formula E equals MC squared. Kind of an interesting little story there and that's the story of this little monument. Thanks for watching guys.